What is up guys? I am back with yet another great moments in fighting game history analysis video. What we're looking at right now is Kane Blue River versus Filipino Champ in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. They are doing a first to 15 grudge match uh, at Winter Brawl 2016. So a few years ago these guys played and uh, there was just a little bit of bad blood between these two I would say. If you watch maybe the uh, the onstage body language after this first match took place, Filipino champ on the left there. Oh, calling him free right after he wins the first round, immediately smack talking his opponent. Let's talk a little bit about the history between these two players before we jump into the rest of the match here. So Filipino champ, one of the greatest Marvel 3 players of all time at this point. Uh, 2011, the first year that original Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came out, he got top 8. And then this is 2012, EVO Grand Finals, Filipino Champ won the first year that Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was released. He ended up taking first place and becoming the world champ. So, uh, pretty impressive results there. And generally, you know, he just always does well in tournament at this game and is considered one of the best. F Champ is also very well known for sort of his attitude, for his reputation as being someone who really likes to smack talk. He likes to taunt and troll his opponents in the middle of matches. He will taunt his opponents mid-match. He will even, after defeating them, he will talk smack on them. I'm not used to fighting people who, has, who doesn't have a lot of IQ. I'm sorry, okay, but he's really an idiot, okay? I fight people who has really smart, who has, who would adapt. Like, he got the grand finals, even though he looks like a pelican. Congratulations, he got his second. And on the other end of the matchup, we have Kane Blue River. He's a player from Chile. Uh, he came a little bit later to the Marvel scene. He didn't really start traveling and putting up results in tournaments until the game had been out a couple years. But his play with these big body characters, Hulk, Sentinel, Hagar, uh, was really second to none. I don't think anyone had ever seen these characters perform that well in tournament up to this point. But he's really excellent at taking these characters who have a hard time getting in. They're very slow and clunky. But once they get in, they can kill characters or entire teams extremely quickly. So here he is winning EVO 2015, uh, which was a really exciting result and uh, pretty unprecedented for someone playing a team like that. And let's just say that Filipino champ had some things to say about KBR winning EVO. But what can you tell us about KBR? Your opinion of Kane Blue River, the EVO champ for EVO 2015. Oh man, he's a hard worker. He definitely earned the title. He beat Justin Wong, he beat Ray Ray. He beat a lot of good players on the ways. But I do think that if he were running to me, it would have been a different story. <laughs> like if I was in, in his pools, he, he would probably go 0-2. Because you know what I'm saying? But that's that's besides the point. And so that's what brings us back to this match here. People had donated money for Kane Blue River to be able to travel to the Winter Brawl tournament because they wanted to see a match between these two players, KBR and F Champ, the former Evo champions, one from 2012 and one from 2015. Filipino champ winning the first round, calling KBR free. But that's just the start of things. It really starts to go crazy throughout this set. I'm going to be skipping through some of the games here uh, just to kind of show you the important parts that happen along the way. After winning two more matches and making it 3-0, Filipino champ had this to say. This is my game! Oh, he, he, told, he told KBR, this is my game. After winning three more and making it 6-0, Filipino champ intentionally pauses the game runs over to the broadcasting desk, intentionally basically conceding a round to Filipino champ. If you pause, you automatically lose the round. But he's just doing this, he says on the mic. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? This is my charity. Give him a point. He says that this is his charity. Just give him a free point. Continuing the smack talk, continuing the trolling. A little while later, we're all the way up to 4 to 10. And two of the matches that KBR has won were Filipino Champ intentionally pausing. Uh, he has taken two matches, playing some different teams. He's moving his way around the character select screen, uh, but not really finding anything that sticks. Uh, Filipino Champ showing a very strong advantage in pretty much all of these matches. 
Uh, at match number 17, <laughs> it's 4 to 12 right now. Uh, KBR looking strong, actually, with an interesting Firebrand and Iron Man team. Uh, he's doing fairly well, but something important to note about Filipino Champ's team is he runs Phoenix. And if Phoenix dies with five bars of super available, she turns into Dark Phoenix, who is the strongest character in the game. And it's really, really difficult to win against Dark Phoenix. She can pretty much destroy entire teams, like, instantly. Uh, the only really consistent way to deal with this character is to either kill their entire team before she can build up five meters, or to have some kind of setup that uh, catches Dark Phoenix out. But generally, if things don't go that way, if she does transform into Dark Phoenix, it's usually a free win for the Phoenix player. So that's something that's going to come up a lot since Filipino Champ uh, is considered one of the better Phoenix players out there. And uh, he's going to try to get those five bars as quickly as he can in all of these matches. Now at this point, KBR does switch back to his main team, the Hulk Hagar Sentinel team. He gets a pretty clutch comeback here with Sentinel, manages to make it 6-13, to 13, trying to reduce that deficit a little bit. Uh, immediately afterward, this next game here, really early X-Factor. Hulk puts out huge damage, especially when he burns X-Factor. So again, here, what he's going to do is he's going to kill Filipino Champ's team as fast as he can before Champ is able to build five bars and have the potential for that Dark Phoenix. So this is basically like what an optimal match with KBR's team looks like. He's even snapping Phoenix in to kill her faster, lands the hit. Phoenix, extremely low health. So she does die in only a few hits, uh, but again, you have to kill her twice, assuming she has five bars. But that didn't happen this match. KBR putting another point on the board, 7-13. to 13. He's got over 50% of the round wins that Champ has. I mean, how, how bad could it be? He could bring this back, right? Next match, he starts putting in hits really early on Magneto and Doom, snaps in Phoenix, Hits her with the 50-50, jumping over so that you have to guess what side is the uh, Hagar assist going to hit on. Goes for the same 50-50 against Dr. Doom. I have no idea what side that hit on. But Phoenix died before he could get 5 meters. And uh, boom, there you go. Go ahead and kills F-Champ's team again. Making it 8-13. to Bringing it back? Alright, the next match, uh, Kane Blue River. Bringing in Phoenix, but she does have 5 bars. Manages to land another bizarre cross-up on her. Transforming her into Dark Phoenix. Raw Super randomly crosses up, I guess. It's a little bit unclear why Champ got hit there. But look, there you go. 9 to 13. Everyone's starting to feel hope in the crowd. That maybe this could possibly be brought back. Next game, snap in Phoenix again. Gotta kill her fast. Blocks the 50-50. But randomly gets hit in a bit of a scramble. Kane taking another game? I mean, it looks like it, right? Look, there you go. <laughs> He's making it 10 to 13. <laughs> the hope is still alive. <laughs> Filipino champ looking worried. I mean, look at him. But, oh, oh, champ wins another one with Phoenix. Okay, only one more win and champ puts it away. And Champ, <laughs> Champ is destroying him in this last game. He's down to just Hagar. He's using Magneto's repulsion to keep Hagar away. This character's too slow. With no assists, he can't get in. There's What can you do? You just got to sit there blocking beams. He can't get close. <laughs> Raw Super's not going to help. He just wants to get close. It's so hard. It's so hard against Magneto. All right, he lands the he lands the lariat, X Factor. Okay, okay, signs of life. He, maybe he can still do it. Okay, fifty fifty. Dark Phoenix has five meters, but it, I mean, maybe. Look, he's gonna. Okay, he dropped. Oh, he dropped. Champ lands the hit. Champ takes, okay, Champ wins. Champ wins 10 to 15, it's over. It's over, well. Okay, maybe it's not over, okay? I thought, okay, the first of 15 is over, but that's not the end of the story, okay? That was only day one of Winter Brawl. That was an exhibition. 
the tournament still hadn't happened yet. And lo and behold, who makes it to grand finals of the tournament? It's KBR and F champ. Uh, Filipino champ still in winner's bracket. Hasn't lost a game yet, or a match, I should say. Uh, KBR in loser's bracket already has one loss. This is a double elimination tournament. So to win the whole tournament, KBR is going to have to take two sets off of Filipino champ. And Filipino champ only has to take one set. So is that going to be possible after the trouncing he just received in that first to 15? 15 to 10 and two of those 10 were freebies. I don't know. Let's see how it goes in the first set here. Game one, right off the bat, Hulk again trying to get in on Magneto. It's always difficult. Making him block the drones assist, and he gets the throw into the Hagar assist. That looks like it's a dead Magneto. Hulk can kill you so fast, as long as he gets that hit. That's the hard part, he's getting in. Throws Phoenix onto the drones. He's going to kill her way before she gets to 5 meters. No problem. And now he gets 50-50s on incoming. Hit by the hit grab. Now he's going to kill Doom. Right? He's got all the meter this in the justice. world. <laughs> this is justice. Uh, yeah, level one. DAC. Level one. Level one. Meteors and ass. <laughs> yipes Ooh. on commentary. <laughs> it's getting really riled up. I don't think Yipes was happy with Filipino champ's behavior in the first to 15. So there's definitely a little bit of bias from his end on the commentary. But champ has X-Factor level three Magneto. Uh, in case you're not aware, X-Factor scales in this game to how many characters you have left. Uh, if you've only got one character left, X-Factor becomes insanely potent and lasts a really, really long time. So we'll see if X-Factor 3 is enough for Champ to take this first game. And no, it's not going to be enough. KBR takes game one. Not too shabby. Game two, KBR activates Dark Phoenix. Goes for the Lariat, manages to keep her blocking. Using the invincibility on Lariat there to keep her locked down so she can't do any of those Dark Phoenix shenanigans and just blow up the entire team. Calling in supers to waste uh, the X-Factor 3 time. And he lands a low with Sentinel. Kills Dark Phoenix. 2-0 KBR. Not bad. Game 3 ends up being a very textbook Filipino champ win. Zones KBR out. Just felt completely helpless with those big body characters. So hard to get in. Game four looking pretty much the same. Looking absolutely helpless for KBR. Getting completely destroyed by Magneto and Doctor Doom. Looking tough. Two to two. And again, if KBR wins one more game, he's still got to win another set on top of that. Game three, KBR gets in with Hulk, kills Magneto, takes Doom really low. Starting to look like what you want when you're playing Hulk. Big, big dunk on Dr. Doom, and only three, almost four meters on Dark Phoenix. He's going to need to build over an entire meter here if he wants that Dark Phoenix activation. F-Champ pomping an X-Factor in an attempt to not die here, but I don't think it's going to work. No health on Phoenix, and she gets destroyed. So the bracket gets reset. We're going to another grand final set here. The score is zero to zero. First to three wins. Let's see it. Game two. Looking pretty bad for KBR here. I'm sensing a little bit of maybe nerves. He drops some important combos throughout this match and generally just gets zoned out by Magneto with Dr. Doom beam assist. So hard for these big body characters to get past this wall of projectiles. It's really tough. And Filipino Champ is well known for being an extremely good zoning or keep away player. Uh, it's kind of his specialty. He does like to upset his opponents and what better way to make people mad then just blast them with 5,000 projectiles and not let them get close to you. So uh, game one looking like exactly what Filipino champ wants to see. As long as Cane Blue River's team can't get close to you, they can't kill you. So that's the strategy. That's what he's trying to do in this last set here. Game two is looking largely the same, although uh, KBR did manage to take out Magneto. But Dr. Doom landing these big combos, activating X-Factor to make sure it's going to kill here. Uh, he is using a little bit of meter, but it's probably not going to be a problem because if KBR uh, even gets a hit here, uh, Phoenix is probably going to build that last meter uh, just purely from taking damage. So uh, KBR going in with Sentinel, though, snaps in Phoenix, 
If he can just get one hit here, he might be able to kill her. But Filipino champ tries to use his super to beat KBR's super. Doesn't work out, and he used a meter doing the super, so Phoenix is dead. Now he activates X-Factor, cancels out of his super, and now Dr. Doom's dead. So, wow, pretty epic from KBR there. Makes it 1-1. That was insane. Game 3, Hulk gets in on Magneto early, corners him, gets the happy birthday, hitting both characters. <laughs> utterly melting both characters life bars that's two characters down in less than 10 seconds in comes phoenix hit by the 50 50 with the assist call and now it's two to one kbr leading two to one only needs one more only needs one more win and kbr takes the entire tournament it's really happening folks all right i'm gonna stop skipping around so much because this is important now this is important KBR fighting to get in. Oh, okay, he gets the hit, but Dr. Doom assist, keeping Magneto safe. Once again, Dr. Doom assist, keeping him safe. That is a multi-hit beam, so even though Hulk does have armor on some of his moves, it will lose to the beam because it has so many hits. Uh, landing the loops on Hulk, probably going to go for a TAC, which KBR, I guess, is right and breaks. Uh, TAC is essentially putting your opponent into a rock, paper, scissors situation. And if they lose, then you get uh, a really extended combo on them. It's one of the features of Marvel 3. Going for the raw super. Magneto definitely flying out of the way. Not too shabby. Raw super again. Trying to force him to block the drones. Uh, really getting zoned out here is KBR. Like I said, it's going to be really hard to get past this wall of projectiles. He does have Magneto cornered, but Magneto has this flight mode. He can traverse the screen so quickly. Go corner to corner without too much effort. Hagar rolling around on the ground in just an attempt to get in. Because uh, it's so hard to cover this screen space by just jumping and walking on the ground. Calling the drones assist, which then gets beaten out by Dr. Doom beam assist. It's just tough in general. I just don't know how you're supposed to get through that huge wall of projectiles with Hagar. It's really hard. Uh, using the repulsor, uh, whatever it's called, the magnetic attraction to pull him onto more hits of the super there, taking out Hagar. Hulk coming in with not too much health. Gonna be a tough comeback, especially since this whole time, keep in mind, Filipino champ is building meter that he can use to transform Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix with four and a half meters. Hulk just praying that he can get a hit before he can tag out, but there it was. Tagging in Magneto, taking out Hulk. Uh, this is definitely looking out of reach from KBR here. We might have to go to a last game, folks. Okay. He gets the air throw into the hard drive super. Takes out Magneto. But again, it just kind of feels like anything you do doesn't really matter. Because Phoenix is just going to come in, turn into Dark Phoenix, and then kill you. But you never know. We'll see. What's the mix-up on incoming Phoenix? Uh, good throw break from Filipino champ. Activates his own X-Factor to try to get out of the bad situation. Breaks the throw. There, he gets the big combo. Takes out Go. Sentinel. It's two to two. <laughs> We're down to last game, last round here. After the bracket reset. Can KBR do this, guys? Oh, my gosh. Everything's riding on this. <laughs> the reputation. After getting smack talked by Filipino champ to no end. Filipino champ saying, listen, if I ran into you at Evo, you would have lost. Essentially implying that he did not deserve that Evo first place finish. Can KBR prove him wrong and take this set? All right, let's see it. Final game. This is it. Ooh, lands the big dunk on Magneto. Dr. Doom beam keeping him safe, but he got the air throw. Activates X-Factor to kill Magneto. There's one character down. Only two meters. Oh, gets the hit on Dr. Doom. Watch the meter. He's at three. Hulk having absolutely no trouble killing a full health Dr. Doom here. We're at three, three and three quarters meter for Phoenix. Okay, she gets a hit, making it four meters. Four and a half meters. How is he going to stop her from getting five? How is he going to stop Dark Phoenix? Ryan, no. Oh! oh, he's dead. Oh, <laughs> my God. He 
got him with the super. Hold up. Hold up. Can we see that again? He's dead. <laughs> he's, he's like a millimeter away from five. Oh my God. KBR takes the win. KBR. Everyone's rushing the stage. Wow. People are freaking we out. Are the world. <laughs> we are the children. I'm, uh, you know, I was in disbelief when I saw this, guys. It was pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Filipino champ. You can't take away from him. He's one of the greatest of all time. But KBR, really with the insane momentum coming off of his Evo win, after losing 15 to 10, manages to take grand finals. Uh, pretty amazing, if you ask me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much going to be it. Uh, I know Yipes doing commentary for this match was really enjoying that win. He's cackling maniacally after KBR wins. Uh, if you guys have suggestions for other matches that you think I should cover in this series in the future, be sure to let me know. Uh, I really enjoy doing these, and I hope you guys enjoy watching them as well. So let me know what you thought down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. I know I don't say that very much, but uh, it would mean a lot for me if you could do that. So that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next one.